from rural Kansas to the White House. National Medal of Science to Geraldine Richmond for her landmark discoveries of the molecular characteristics of water surfaces and for her extraordinary efforts in the United States and around the globe to promote women in science. Geraldine Richmond was a child of boundless curiosity who followed her mother's advice. The way to get a job is to be good at math. Luckily for us, Geraldine Richmond was very good at math. While at K-State, she worked in retail to help pay for college. This was during the Vietnam War. Often soldiers would come in to buy wigs so they could go to the bars in Aggieville and not stand out as GIs. But after acing an exam in chemistry, the professor told her there was an opening for a job in the chem lab. Working in a lab sounded much more interesting than selling wigs to GIs. And that job led to a job in research. Thus began an amazing career. After earning a PhD from the University of California, Berkeley in physical chemistry, Richmond spent five years as assistant professor of chemistry at Bryn Mawr College before joining the faculty at the University of Oregon in 1985. It was that first exposure to research as an undergrad that led Richmond to develop a research experience program for undergrad students, the longest running REU site in the nation, to expose them to something bigger than the textbook and show them how research is an avenue for success at an early stage in their career. Richmond's own research is focused on the unique, extraordinary properties of the surface of water, the high tension of the surface that allows things to float, that makes it possible for water to go up in a tree, and makes a drop a drop. But how do you study this very thin layer, only one or two molecules thick? Richmond had worked with lasers in graduate school. Now she uses lasers to study the chemistry of that thin, thin layer of surface water. Her research has provided valuable insights into the way water surface molecules stick together and how this surface bonding is altered when in contact with oils, dispersants, surfactants, and gaseous pollutants. In the late 90s, she noticed there were a lot of women at her level, successful, but not being recognized. In 1998, Richmond and Jeannie Pemberton of the University of Arizona co-founded COACH, the Committee on the Advancement of Women Chemists. The organization delivered workshops around the U.S. to more than 15,000 women in all fields of science and engineering. It has since grown beyond the U.S. to Asia, Africa, and Latin America, focusing on negotiation, leadership, and effective communication. Dr. Richmond is the U.S. Science Envoy to the lower Mekong River countries, and recently held the Women in Tech workshop in Ho Chi Minh City, where women from Cambodia, Myanmar, Laos, and Vietnam attended. It is through these relationships that Richmond has learned a different model for collaboration with developing countries, where both sides come to the table as equals, listening and developing trust, where solutions fit the culture. It is no wonder she has held numerous leadership roles such as President of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the largest general scientific professional organization in the world. She is also on the National Science Board that oversees the National Science Foundation. A teacher, scientist, and mentor around the world, please welcome Dr. Geraldine Richmond.